Hello, here's Malban again. I'm going again to talk about VIDA, VIDA Vectrex Integrated Development Environment. This time I would like to show you how to import foreign sources to VIDA, to compile them and to run them in emulation mode. For this I already prepared a link to an internet source. Here we find for example, VeckiBird. The VeckiBird sources were posted on the Vectrex forum. You can download them from Dropbox, from a Dropbox account. This is what I'm going to do now. Direct download from Dropbox and I don't want to log in. And now we are waiting. OK. Downloading. Finished. So, Next, I will copy the received sources to the VD directory so that we can use them over there. This is my actual VD directory. All sources are here and everything else. I put them temporarily in the temp directory so I can access them easily from VD. I copy them. This is the readme, which is coming with the uh, sources here. It is written that it was programmed with a Kingswood assembler version 1.42. This is a very well known uh, assembler in the Vectrex commu community. Many games, many programs were written with it and in Vida the assembler is quite similar to it. It's not the Kingswood assembler because uh, that was written in or I think C. Anyway, it's a Windows program and Vida is uh, Java and I like to support different operating systems so uh, I've got an own assembler. Anyway, back to Vida. In Vida uh, also an uh, editor can be found. It's called Vedi, Vectrex Editor. Within Vedi you can create projects and projects are in general just a collection of some sources. You do that pressing the new button and new project. This project we are going to create will be called VeckiBird because it is VeckiBird. Uh, author is Michael Simmons. I usually put all my projects in the projects subdirectory. Descriptions, you can give anything there. Nice little game. Nice little game. These sources, uh, or for this project, uh, we do not create any standard game loops and we don't support any extraordinary hardware. So we just create an empty project and uh, we will add the sources later on. Or not much later, because now we finished with the project. We call the pop-up menu, add files. We move to the directory, we put the sources in. This is a temp directory. We mark all sources, import them with the OK button and all sources now are included uh, with the project. So the project does not have a main file. Each project in uh, VDA must have a main file. With VeckiBird, it's the VeckiBird.asm. Right mouse click, set as main, and we will try to compile it right away. So, this is the almighty compile button. So, below the editor screen, there's a message screen. There you will see some well, messages. Red are errors. Greens are optimizations which were done by the assembler and blue are things that the assembler guesses could be done better. So uh, short jumps uh, which can uh, or long jumps which can be converted to short jumps and similar things. Now here we have a couple of problems because I know this source code. Uh, I know it it's directly related to the include files, so we'll go there. Go there, it's quite easy. Locate this file, double click on it, and it jumps in the source code to the problem file. So here you see between the include directive 
and the file name there's no space well I, I should correct it sometime so that the assembler does not uh, throw an error with missing spaces but right now it is like that so one space here and for the second error one space over there now the sources are video compatible and we can try to run them again and there it is Becky Bird running in Vide and it was compiled successfully starting uh, emulation Becky Bird I will try one game perhaps I'll score the fantastic score of one point because I really really am bad at Becky Bird so can I ah, nearly I, I, I will do it again I, I want to have at least one a score of one yeah score of one this was my goal today thanks for watching this was all for today thank you and bye bye <laughs>